Hey guys, it's Clyde here live from the Leechburg Lights Workshop. Uh, give us a look up on the, on the internet at uh, www.leechburglights.com. You'll see the link down below here. And I wanted to go over a new project that I'm working on um, for about, I want to say six years now. I've had something on the house uh, for Christmas time. It's been a uh, spinner. It's been kind of a staple this year, that I've been I had running. decided to uh, upgrade uh, from a pixel strip spinners to regular uh, 2811 uh, pixel spinners. And uh, these are the uh, uh, 15 millimeter nodes. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through the process of drilling um, all of my legs uh, for the project. Okay, so the first thing you see here is you see um, a couple of uh, cross connectors. We take a bolt and we uh, actually we take a drill and we drill through and we connect these two uh, pieces together and we tighten the screw down. I use a uh, like it's a nylon nut. It tightens and it holds itself in place. And then I just tighten it down. And uh, these don't turn very very easily. Uh, whenever the legs are on them, they'll turn a little bit. But you can just crank it down a little more once you have the uh, legs in there. But uh, you'll notice that there's this little uh, uh, mark here on the PVC and what that is from is I wanted to uh, measure how far this piece of PVC is going to be inside um, inside the uh, inside the T so with that mark here I can tell exactly where on the PVC I can start drilling okay the next thing I want to show you is this this homemade jig that I had uh, I've already um, used uh, use this jig to do every single window frame on the house but the um the uh the, the basic part of this is it's no more than a uh, two by four or uh, one by four that's down here this was all scrap and this is uh two two by twos and obviously you can see that the uh there's the space in between here just enough for the pvc to slide into now this jig serves two purposes um, as I was doing my window frames, I had the PVC uh, or the uh, drill spacing set so that I could, um, I could, and I'll pop this up here. I have a wooden dowel rod here. So next what I'll do is, um, I will start out by drilling the first hole. Now this is my space in between, uh, in between so I need to make sure that wherever my first dumb RGB or my pixel goes wherever my pixel ends up it needs to be on the left side of this line so I'm just going to take my uh, my drill press and, and I have my half inch drill bit this is half inch uh, close enough to 15 millimeters that this will slide through quite easily um, this should be good that gives me a good you know quarter inch you know couple sixteenths of an inch that uh, the first node will be literally right butt up against the edge here. So the other thing I want to tell you what I'm doing here is um, I have this this clamp here holding another piece of PVC with an arrow and a line. Okay from this angle you can clearly see here we have our uh, drill bit and this is this drill bit here specifically is a countersink drill bit it's not an actual full-size half-inch drill bit here I'll, I'll grab you a I'll, I'll grab you the original one I got. This is a half inch uh, drill bit with a smaller uh, shaft here so that it would fit into my 3H drive. But um, unfortunately, this is so hit, is so big and even with the fastest speeds and the slowest speeds, it was tearing up the, uh, the half inch PVC that I was using. So I switched to a smaller bit and, uh, and ended up using this and it works just fine for the application. Um, now you notice I have this line here lined right up and uh, if I were to zoom in you can see clearly that this line points right to the center or where the drill bit is going to enter into and what I would do is I'd sit here and line that up just like that and then I would begin by inserting my piece of PVC right into there now if you look at this end of the piece of PVC, 
you will see I have two lines, one down here and one down, one up here. I also drew the line, continuing it out here, so that I had something to line up with this arrow that I drew, drew onto the PVC. This here is so that whenever I go ahead and make my first cut, that all I have to do now is spin 180 degrees, come up with the second line, and there you have the first hole for the first node. Now, I'm using, if you can, if you can tell, this is schedule, uh, schedule 30 PVC. This is the thin walled stuff. I much prefer this, um, where as opposed to the, uh, where as opposed to the, the schedule 40, which is uh, much thicker, there's a lot more drilling involved and it'll wear your bit down way faster. So Since we now have our initial hole drilled for our first leg, um, the next step would be after you have um, calculated uh, the number of nodes in your spacing, I'm going with two inch. What, I'm, what I've done here is I've, I've drilled a hole inside the center of this board, the distance between here and here, which is the center, and this uh, drill bit is centered upon that. Uh, I put this, uh, half inch peg in here and it's sanded down just a little bit so that it freely floats up and down. Uh, this saved me from having to use two different jigs and uh, disconnecting the clamps here which are holding this in place. Uh, once this clamp is in place it takes some time to get this set just centered on the drill bit so it was easier to use one jig to uh, hold the piece of PVC in place while I drilled. So what I'm going to do here is you can see I have my set point for my, um, for my um, uh, initial hole holder. So whenever I put my PVC in here to drill, it'll go on this side. And like I said, this is set up for um, my, other, my other window frames. I want two inch spacing. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take the center here and I have my line drawn right here. And I'm going to come down two inches and wherever the center of this line is, I'm going to match this up with the center of the drill bit. So right there is my two inch space. And I'll put two inches right here. We successfully set up the drill press now to accept a two inch spacing. And how I know this is I took my test piece here. There's lots of holes drilled in it. And uh, I fit this down over the top here. And I went ahead and I did a couple test drills right there is one. Uh, the, the way to tell that this is correct is just to grab our tape measure, come in over here, and up against there we have zero inch, two inch, four inch. So I always want to start with the exact same end, and I'm always going to work from right to left. You, you could set it up backwards. I'm, I'm left-handed, so I usually go right to left. Um, but basically, let me push this little peg up. Basically, I'll just... And this is kind of hard with the camera right now. Going straight down. And then I can touch the bottom side of it. Now I'll pop up. Turn it upside down. And there I've got one hole completely done. Now, one of the things that you're going to notice is all of the burls and uh, all of the uh, shredded material is going to make a mess out of the shop floor. Um, I think I cleaned up after every three window frames that I did. This will be the equivalent to uh, one window frame. So um, I actually went ahead and these are 24 inch legs, which they've always been 24 inch legs. Uh, I went and put 12 holes in them. And um, so just to give you an idea of after... Uh, drilling out all the holes. There's uh, 96 holes now drilled and uh, you can see there's quite a bit of mess here on the floor and uh, the bench isn't as clean as it was.
All right, so here we are. We got it all done. Um, as you can see down here, we've got a little controller here that's a, a basic uh, DMX uh, 170 channel or 170 pixel controller. It's running in um, standalone mode right now and uh, basically running 96 pixels. We have um, it, it, actually this has been really easy project compared to the other ones whenever I did these in the past. The strips were much more challenging to work with whereas pixels and, and three wire three core wire is uh, far easier uh, to assemble. Okay, so here we have the back side of the pixel spinner. Um, right here you can see we have our uh, male connection, a male, male pigtail connection right here going down to the controller. Um, from here it's connected into the first pixel which is here and the line goes out or from the center to the end and then I have a return line that I soldered in. It's a three core line and I connected it. It's two feet long since these are two foot legs. I uh, used two foot long sections stripped and soldered and connected and so it is a little bit of work to get all of the all of the extensions or or the inserts in between every 12 pixels but it really didn't take that much time every individual line has heat shrink on it then over top of the connection is additional heat shrink for protection from water um, and if you if, if you have everything ready to go i mean this is a pretty simple project to do so uh, I'm going to let you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know how, uh, let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, hey, uh, check me out on leechburglights.com. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of cool things coming up and I'm going to be posting up everything over there. So take care, guys. Thanks for watching.